Hello, everybody. It's reading time with Mrs. Zhang. Come and join me today. Our story is about too many books, written by Jill Tebow, illustrated by Bruno Saint Aubin. One morning, Nicholas got dressed in a hurry and ran downstairs to find his mom. She gave him a hug, took one look at his shoelaces, and said, "Nicholas, I have something for you." Then she searched through a box and handed him a book about how to tie shoelaces. After Nicholas read it, he could tie the best bows in the world. When he finished his breakfast, he brushed his teeth very fast. Vroom, vroom, vroom! Toothpaste flew all over the bathroom. His dad ran in, gave him a kiss, and handed him another book on how to brush your teeth. Blub 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 blub. After Nicholas read it, he had the whitest, brightest teeth in the world. Then he tried to give his cat a bath. She did not want one. His sister appeared, holding a book in her hands. Oh no! Not a book about how to wash cats. After Nicholas read it, his cat was the cleanest, most beautiful cat in the world. Nicholas decided to go outside and play. He tried riding his bike. It wasn't so easy. His favorite neighbor Veronica came over with a book under her arm. No, said Nicholas. You must be kidding. Not a book about how to ride like a pro. Nicholas read it. He was the best bike rider in the world. To thank Veronica, Nicholas went to the library with her. The minute they got there, she dove straight. For the shelves and chose a stack of books. Hugging her pile, she asked Nicholas, "Aren't you getting any?" "No," said Nicholas. "I'm tired of reading books that tell me how to do this, how to do that, how not to do this, how not to do that."
Monica grabbed him by the hand. Look, Nicholas, over here are adventures. Over there, you'll find history. And down this row are the funny books. To make her happy, Nicholas chose three. A pirate adventure, a book about knights, and a funny story. On the way back, Veronica kept saying, I can't wait to read my books. Uh, mm, me too. I can hardly wait, said Nicholas. At home, he headed to the backyard to play, plunking his books on the grass. Hmm, he thought. Should I give one of them a try? Nicholas sat down under the tree, opened a funny book, and started to read. He burst out laughing on the first page, and on the second page, and the third. He laughed so hard that his dad opened the back door and asked, What's going on, Nicholas? His mom came out of the garage and asked, Nicholas, are you all right? Then, his dad, his mom, his sister, and Veronica all gathered around. With a big smile, Nicholas said, Listen to this. Once there was a little mouse who, and he read on. Nicholas finished, he was the happiest reader in the world. The End So, Reading is so much fun and entertaining. You can experience a lot of adventures as you read along. Drop by the library, borrow some books, and keep on reading. That's all for now. It's time to say bye. See you next time.